So this is my, I believe, 10-ish gallon compressor I picked up off a of marketplace right here in town for like 20 or 25 dollars. I don't remember. I wrote it down. It's been a while. We got all the other garbage stripped off of it. It would have been cool to have it set up in here and like use that as the compressor. But it just, it isn't, it isn't gonna work. So we're just gonna use it as a tank. No big thing, chicken wing. It is a badge air badger, get it? Do you get it? Do you get it? I get it. So we'll make sure that sticker's pointing right in your face. I think I'm just gonna hack all this other garbage off of it, like this plate and the axle and the old stand there. And we'll figure out a way to mount it right to the top of the fuel tank mount and utilize that space. Like I said in my last video, I'm not even sure if I wanna fill this in with anything, floor it or any of that jazz. At this point, I wanna get my car on the road, enjoy it, and then do other things in the future with it. It's the great thing about a rat rod. You just get it on the road, you start enjoying it, then you do all the extra stuff. Or you just let her lay the way she is. Like my, my Bel Air and my, my Model A, I haven't, haven't I've neglected them. I'm, I'm, that's all there is to it. I just, I neglected them. So that's where we are with that old thing. Yeah, you know, pop it out. We'll cut these little couple welds off of here, and then we'll see how much room we've got for stuff. Well, the good thing is, is I was only completely nervous about cutting a hole into the tank, but it doesn't appear that I did that. I got them all down, so we'll get them ground down all the way around, and then we'll get her set up in the trunk and see how much room we actually have for space what we're going to need to mount this thing in there somehow now we get to play the game of where does it fit best and how do we make it work it's a stout little tank she's got some heft to it Ugh. honestly i think that's as good as it gets we just got to figure out how to secure it now what more do we need than that so I went and took the motor and compressor mount and cut it in half. Though it looks like it's not equal because the hole is more on this side than it is on this side, it's in half. The hole is off center. I know. I would have expected I got it off center too. I think the plan here, if it works, Basically, I'm gonna get everything squared up where it needs to be. This hole actually works out pretty good because then I can get to the drain plug. I might even have to open it up a little bit because I got this kind of, the tank itself is rotated a little bit because I wanna be able to see that sticker nice and easy. And then once I get this exactly where it needs to be, we'll weld these directly to this. And then we'll either use some short studs. We'll put some studs on here we can bolt this down or maybe we will nut sort it I don't know that's pretty thick I don't know if we can nut sort that or not one way or another we will get it so it's attached to these brackets and slid back up underneath there a little bit so it's not right in the trunk taking up too much space we got to have somewhere to put you know seats and stuff and yeah I think that's what we're gonna do that should work. It should it should work, right? I hope it works. Well, we got her in there. It is as square and true to an actual placement as I can get it. It really throws a guy off though, because I see this sticker's not centered. That really bugs me, but we're gonna leave it. It is what it is. It just makes the whole tank look like it's off-centered, and it's not. It is square and centered-ish. <clears throat> Anyways, we gotta clamp down before I drill the holes, because I'm that guy that if I don't, things move and then things don't line back up again when you try and bolt it down for the last time so we're gonna just punch some holes through punch some bigger holes through 
see what I can scab together for bolts. Like I just dug this one out of my old bolt stash over there. So this will probably be the size I use. Hopefully I can find a couple more. And we'll get this thing nailed down. Does it need some kind of rubber isolation in there? I don't know. I mean, it's gonna be bolted down. I don't know. We'll just go with this for now. I uh, will put one like here and here. So it wasn't as easy to get into as I thought. I gotta do this without drilling a hole right in the top of my tank. Because that well, it wouldn't be embarrassing, it'd be disappointing. We need to track down some hardware. <sighs> I put the bolt in my pocket. I left. Can't find the fucking bolt. No clue where it went. So I just bought all the wrong sizes because I was just trying to guess. Now that we got that all loosely bolted down, it's pretty much done for the mounting stage of that. But we got to figure out where to put pumps yet, and we got to plumb at least the tank side of things. So let me show you what I got for pumps. This is a Vair something, I don't know, 4-4C, 4-4-4C dual pack compressor, 3.53 CFM, 200 PSI. Is that enough? I, I don't know. These are things I'm not familiar with, so we're gonna run it because I got it off the Marketplace. The day we entered the build up is when I found it on Marketplace and we went and picked it up right away. It should work, I haven't even, I mean, it's just been sitting on the shelf since then. But I'm thinking we're just gonna make something up that sits on top of the old uh, compressor mount here. Like something like so. I got another one. My buddy that let me borrow the airlines to first initially air the systems up. Well, he had an extra spare pump that he's letting me have. I don't know, it's an Air Max 580. I don't know how that compares to that one. Hopefully they can work together. 200 PSI, not as much CFM. I mean, together they should be fine. And then we'll put this one over here. We'll plumb the hoses into the back. I've still got trunk area now. See how that works? Yeah, it's all part of the great plan. So yeah, then we'll have, it'll all be like a nice, concise, small unit. And essentially I could bring that all out as one whole piece. I wouldn't even have to take the pumps off or nothing. Just take the whole tank, pumps, everything out as one unit. I like that plan. This right here is a fender that I cut up and used to mount the radiator and stuff in the front clip. I'm not sure if that video is up. If it is up, I'll post a link. Anyways. You gotta utilize steel when you can find steel. And there's a lot of good steel here that I can utilize. So we're just gonna cut a section out of it. 
times two because we got two pumps. We're gonna make our mounts out of that. It's plenty thick. It's probably more than it needs. But I never know what's good enough or not enough. And this is what we're doing. Well, I gotta cut out. We'll get them cleaned up and whatnot. But there's two plates for two pumps. We'll get them cleaned up. Mark some holes, drill some metal. Then we'll attach it to the whole tank setup assembly. As soon as I shut the camera off the last time, I realized I should weld those bolts in so I don't have to try and monkey with a wrench underneath these pumps. So I welded the bolts in. So now they're attached and I can just take the nuts up from the underside. It'll be good. So now I can lift that whole unit out. We're gonna attach the pumps, plumb the pumps, and then we can put it back in and she's good to go. Heck yeah. Uh, what are the odds I can do this without hitting the pump? Not good, apparently. Not good at all. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Perfecto. The wife left, so I'm going to utilize the vise while she's gone and not, you know, stripping wires. She's got a whole box of it going over here. That's all the wiring from the excursion. Get that copper. But while she's gone, we're going to use the vise and get these holes. Drilled. I should have checked to see what size holes we need here, because I don't I don't even know. Quarter inch it is. Quarter inch is too big. So that one will probably need a washer or something. That one's good. It's fine. Beautiful. I figure it's probably easier to work on this outside of the car. So that's what we're gonna do. Basically, like a vat. We'll just mark her up, give her a little grindy action. We'll buzz it on. Really trying to make sure I put this in the right spot the first try. Yeah, that'll work. Let's get the other one made up and we'll get that set on there before we get a little too crazy. Well, that way we can make sure they get the same, you know, front thing. I don't know that it matters because they're completely different pumps and they have different mounting hole locations, so. And then this is gonna go like right back here or like here, like there, I like that. Can I tee my pumps together? Is that allowed? Can I have them go into a T and then into one? I don't know, we'll figure it out. Good's enough. I'll get that other one whipped out and then we'll figure out where we go from here. Now that we've got the tank mounted, the pumps mounted, we need to figure out how to plumb it all. I don't know exactly what I'm doing here. It's kind of the way I roll. But I do know I need more ports in this tank. I got some welding bungs. We're gonna weld them in there and uh, see if we can make it not leak and provide air. It's that simple, easy peasy. I don't know how many more ports I need. I know how many more I'm gonna put in though. I got four of these. We're putting out four in. What else am I gonna do with it? This hose, because they're different pumps, is shorter than the other one, so maybe we'll put one here-ish and here-ish and then two in the center. I am gonna do my best 
to make sure this is not crooked. It is straight, level with the ground. I don't know how well that's gonna go on a curved surface because, you know, I'm me. I do know if it's crooked as crap, nobody's gonna see it because it'll be on the back side of the tank so it doesn't even matter. But I'm trying to do it the right way. That's gotta count for something. I don't know. It's gonna look good to me from the driver's seat. And that's all that really matters. So I know I need an inch hole. So we'll do one there, one there, and then two in the center. We'll just kind of evenly space them out. That way if I need to add any, I got room. Simple. 21 and a quarter divided by two would be 10 and a half of five eighths. Does that sound right? Well, I'll be, I actually got that right. There, I got, yeah, it's gonna work, I hope. We'll probably just start with one, see how we like it. See if we need to make any adjustments instead of just going rah, 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 and just blowing them all out right away because that's usually when I get myself in trouble. So we'll just take our time, do one, then maybe two, three and four. Sure hope it don't leak. Freaking perfect. We're just gonna thread this guy in here. I'm not worried about a weld spark getting in there or nothing. I'm more worried that I'm gonna screw the threads up on myself. That was simple. Now we just gotta buzz the rest of them out. Hell yeah. Well, I got them all in there and they're even kind of symmetrical and aligned. The whole works. I mean, they're probably way too big for what I'm doing. I probably only needed like three eighths ones, but that's what I had. That's what I used. We'll make it work. Definitely gonna let it cool down before we try and leak down test it. Plus I don't have any plugs. I gotta get some plugs or fittings or something. Something to plug all the holes so we can put some air to it and see if we have any leaks. And we'll do that before we put it back in the car because it'd be way easier to fix now on the floor than when in the car. So that's what we're gonna do on that. That'll probably be tomorrow. And then hopefully we can start moving forward with this project. But you know, that's a big step. I'll take it. All right, so it's the next day. Everything's cooled off now. You can actually touch things again. I scabbed what I could for plugs and adapters and fittings. We're gonna pump some air into this thing. This is just a straighter valve. You know, you just screw that in there, into that, into that, into that, into that, and then into the tank to make that all work. The rest of it, just all literally just plugs. One of these, when I was welding it, I don't remember if I said anything or not, but it was welding like garbage. I think it was this one, but it might've been, no, it's gotta be this one, because this one looks like crap. This is the one I'm most concerned about. If they all leak, I don't know what I'll do. So I got some soapy water. We're just gonna air it up, spray some watery soap on it and see what happens. Did I tighten that one down? Sure, feels like it. Let's go. Well, I'll be damned. I thought this was a plug, but it's got a hole drilled in it for some reason. So that ain't working. We'll just keep shoving things in the holes until it's so small air can't get out. Oh boy, that's a small one. Sounds better. 
All right, we got a little leakage coming from the plug. Whoa. And up here. So that's that, no big deal. No leaks. No leaks. I'm not worried about these leaks, we can fix those. No leaks? Ah, see, this is the one I was worried about. Look at all the bubbles. That is clearly not welded good enough. Check the bottom side here. We got one leak right there, it looks like. Nothing. Nothing. Complete failure. Well, I should have checked this before I went and welded these brackets onto the tank. But down in here, I don't know if you can see that, but right here, we have a leak. So, probably gonna have to cut the brackets off, fix that, and then weld the brackets back on. It's not the worst thing I've ever had to go backwards on. But, that is a big issue. That's not gonna hold any air for us. We need, we need to fix that. Patch repair got a little more intensive than I was expecting. We just kept plating and welding and plating and welding and hopefully we got it. Is it the correct way to fix an air tank? Eh, probably not, but we're gonna try it and see if it worked. That's all we can do at this point. I have also upgraded my testing methods here. I added the tank gauge from when it was still an original air compressor. So that's on there now so I can see how much pressure it can get to hold and we're gonna use a clip-on air nozzle so I can free up a hand. And then we can see if it works better. Okay, so it doesn't clip on very well. I still have to hold it. Let's see if we can put some pressure into it and see how we do. So I'm, I'm still chasing the frickin' leak here and I decided that if I can't find it, I'm just gonna keep stacking wire on it until it either stops or I run out of wire. I've also upgraded my my air situation so we can just clip the hose right on there now and fill her up and then disconnect the hose and drain it instantly instead of this slow drainage deal. So let's give her a whirl. Find another hole. Damn it, Jim. I feel like maybe this tank might be getting a little rusted on the inside. Well, unfortunately, we have to fast forward a fair amount. As you can probably tell, the car's in a different position. It's turned around. We've had it on the road for about a good month now. I don't know what happened to my video to finish this video out. It was all corrupted. I don't know, I don't know. Good thing is the majority of the video is still there, so you saw how we got to this point. Uh, but I did get it done. After we went through and fixed all our leaks, patched them all up and made her nice and airtight, we got her put in. And she's in. Plumbed. Everything works. The pump's right, right where I was going to put them. It's bolted down to the frame like I originally was, and then you can see that same original air gauge for the compressor is still on there. Uh, it must have a leak somewhere in the system though, because she always leaks down to about 40 PSI. <clears throat> Why that is, we'll figure it out. I've, uh, I've just been trying to get as many miles as I possibly can on this old girl because I want to know what's going to break. 
hopefully nothing major but if it does i want it to break now going into winter because in minnesota we get a build season and then a use season and we're going into build season so if it's going to have a catastrophe let's have it happen now not next spring so yeah that's where we are with the old air compressor she's in she's plumbed she works and the car's looking freaking rad thanks for watching i still got more videos coming like how i did the back seat and door latches and stuff like that so bear with me we'll get all caught up on the whole build up car i've even like been cleaning my garage you can walk in here again it's still it's still pretty rough but we're we're working on it anywho thanks for watching see you on the next one